What is going on guys? It's your main man Ben here bringing you some crypto news, bringing you some crypto updates straight from Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland. And today is extra special because we are just trying to wake up in another day where all was red. Bloody day yesterday. And right now we are seeing a little bit of recovery guys. So it's significant because when you lie down, you got to get up. Like sleeping. Now it looks like whatever happens when the SEC delayed that ETF decision, everything went down. But it looks like there's an overaction or overreaction of the market. And it looks like right now we're trying to get back up again. So, hey, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe if you haven't yet. So, hey, start with our coin market cap. Bitcoin is plus 4.04 look at that so it's not a significant like almost 6200 yesterday i believe we are uh 6571 against the us dollar ethereum 365 dollars it's still low but it's 2.41% xrp at 0.346 yet i think we have an xrp news again later guys in a little bit so it's it's, it's short news today but I think it's a little bit exciting just to take out some content out there. Bitcoin Cash plus 4.08 EOS plus 3.62 Cardano at 8.82. So the top 10 seems to be better now. So IOTA at 3.73. We have a little bit of news from IOTA later as well. So biggest gainers, Monocoin 31.93 A Monocoin. Chainlink 20.79%, Ardor 15.08, Ogre at 13.65. Good stuff there, guys. Whoever holds this coin, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So I hope you take some positions from the opportunity that was presented. You know, enter your own risk at this type of market. So, yes, good stuff, though, guys. So to our miners, bleak miners, but yet. We're still mining. Same old setup, 9570, 11050 Ti, 21070, 11070 Ti, 11080 at 13 kilowatt per hour, 13 cents kilowatt per hour here in Baltimore, Maryland. We are netting at 4.42%. I mean, $4.42. I mean, I'm twisted right now, guys. By the way, it's August 9, 2018. And yes, it's the end of the day that's why that's why where we send our content out but yep it's still bleak um at least is something but yes going <clears throat> excuse me going ahead to our first news um ripple once again guys gets slapped with yet another lawsuit round four so it looks like um again <laughs> Lawsuit, I think Ripple is being plagued with lawsuit. Uh, Rosen Law Firm announced it's investigating Ripple Labs. Um, you know, this is with regards to the tokens, um, you know, suffered by those who bought XRP tokens. So it looks like it's a lot of people and, and hired the Rosen Law Firm. So it looks like, uh, yep, another lawsuit from Ripple. So they haven't released any information or, or Ripple haven't responded yet. But yes another xrp lawsuit so good luck xrp moving on moving on so we had a sneak peek of binance an in-house decentralized exchange so it looks like binance is cooking up the program or the software and it looks like they are trying to do the uh, uh grinds out pre-alpha decentralized exchange so they're teasing out, guys. They're putting out content here. Um, CC uh, says, first rough pre-alpha demo of the Binance Decentralized Exchange. So DEX showing issuing, listing, and trading of tokens. So it looks like they are trying to uh, put out the stuff there that, hey, this is what we have. Binance is making its move. So it looks like um, we are closing um, on this one, guys, following closely. Because Binance is a very reputable in terms of volume in the market. They are top. So we are closing, honing on this one because Binance is fantastic. 
I shell on the BNB too. So, yep. In another news, guys, um, Tron's daily transaction volume could surpass that of Ethereum. So, this is very interesting because, you know, there's Justin Sun and, and Vitalik had like a war of words a couple of months ago, you know, that, you know, um, um, copy paste those stuff. Told Vitalik told Justin Sun, you know, you better be cop better of copying, pasting, and, and pu putting it in your in your site. But yep, it looks like uh, in a tweet just yesterday, Justin Sun noted an amount of daily transactions of Tron network numbered one hundred twenty eight thousand four hundred thirty eight. So it looks like they are surpassing uh, the daily transaction. So yes. A lot of haters for Justin Sun once again, guys. I admire this young gun right here, the tenacity, and 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 he's just making it happen, guys. So following closely once again, once again. So if this happens, um, um, how how much was the promised promised uh, transaction maximum transaction of of uh, TRX? It's capable of maximum one. 172 million 800,000 transactions per day at full capacity. In the case of Ethereum with a maximum of 25 transactions per second, its network can only handle 2,160 transactions per day at full capacity. So TRX can handle 2,000 2, transactions per second. So that's a massive, massive uh, comparison versus ethereum's 25 so watch out closely once again a lot of haters in trx i'm not a hater in trx i'm not a big holder of trx but yep i admire trx i do own a little bit of trx i don't shield trx but problem is i already said that in the past episode i do like trx moving on philippines yo what's up kumusta Philippine project to apply blockchain technology technology to tech to tidy up dirty river. Hey, that's what's up. You know, they they putting it content out there, guys. They they making the technology work, and this is the first time I heard about this. So looks like uh, devices across the main river underwater. They putting uh, considering to install modern IoT or Internet of Things. Um, you know, to to put it into the into the sea, so it to measure tide levels, water quality, and other important data points to monitor their advance in a specific period of time. So this is once again, um, it looks like they are trying to implement proof of concept. So, hey, I shell in Philippines. What's up? It's a, it's a, it's it's a good project. And yes, guys, once again, blockchain technology taking over. If you don't believe it, maybe we can review this uh, video again two years from the future or five years. But yes, moving on, moving on. Bitcoin mining threatens our existence, academic says. Call for intervention. What is this? I mean, what is this? The everyday increasing amounts of electricity that Bitcoin mining consumes threaten to reverse the effort, efforts and gains made so far. In mitigating greenhouse gas emissions you know um yes i some kind of agree on this one guys however this is a a, a technology that that does rely on mining especially bitcoin however um you know it's it's there's a lot of alternative um source of energy like hydro thermal geothermal um solar panel that we can utilize, especially for the big, big guys that really don't care about. I see what they're saying here. So I believe they're referring to the miners. That's the farm, like the massive, massive um, um, numbers of GPUs or ASICs that does emit some bad stuff and, and contribute to, to, you know, pollutions and all that stuff. But then again, guys, it's, it's part of the advancement of the technology. It's not like we're actually mining, planting dynamites and, and other chemicals to extract gold from the earth. So if we imagine the, the, uh, the, the damage that does 
until this day on other forests and all that stuff. I don't think this is a, this is a bigger, uh, this is just a speck of it. So yes, but I do understand where is this article coming from, but yet there are still other alternatives that we can implement to make this work, you know. But yep. So moving on in our last news, guys. IOTA. This is for IOTA. Internal conflicts arises. Co-founder Dominic Schneier, Schinner asked to resign. So that's the reason, probably main reason why IOTA is going like the prices are going really, really down, guys. For this past couple of days, IOTA has been making a lot of noise out of the top 20 uh, um, coins in coin market cap. They're in top 10 and their decline was really, really crazy. I think as much as I would, I would say uh, 20%. And, and it looks like there is an internal conflict between two founders. Um, it looks like it boiled down to that. Uh, the supervisory board resolute. I mean, the, the, the board of directors were proposing to change the existing foundation statute. So it looks like uh, the voting rights and granted right to nominate board members solely to Dominic Shiner. So it looks like. He's the only guy that can do that. So he can only, so Dominic Schneider, Schneider, or he's the guy that can only nominate board members solely. So it looks like, once again, this is not the first time that there's a lot of drama inside IOTA. So we are going to also follow this up because IOTA is very promising, guys. They made big partnerships such as Volkswagen, uh, Audi, and it looks like they're trying also to move from automotive industry to the, like, I think nature stuff as well. And, and so us, uh, uh, like a community as well, like a smart community. So, so we are, we are trying to closely follow on this one. And I don't think IOTA is going down because of, of this, but something's got to, to be resolved because we do not want any drama anymore, guys, because it's. This is bear market, and in spite of that, you do not want to put like bad impressions, especially on the market right now, where investors uh, don't have a lot in their pockets, and we're still trying to get new money. And and there's a lot of, believe it or not, there's a lot of rage quitting right now. What happened yesterday? There's a lot of folks are quitting, and and believe it. Um, they giving up on everything. I mean, that's part of the crypto space. Somewhat, I do not want to say it, but yes, it's still necessary. That happens. The bear market happens, and 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 this is necessary. So, stay with the flow, guys. You know, um, um, bear market will be over soon, and and just hold it, hold down the anchor. So once again, guys, always remember, God is good all the time. That'd be it for today. This is your main man, Ben, here. Peace out.